Hello everyone, welcome back to Airlines Quest. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of international air travel, and we've got our sights set on Australia. With its unique geographical location and the formidable presence of Qantas, international carriers face some unique challenges when entering the Australian market. But let's not waste any more time. Let's dive into Australia's top five international air travel markets. Our first stop is right next door, across the Tasman Sea in New Zealand. The close proximity and strong demand make this route a no-brainer. Australian carriers and their Kiwi counterparts offer a combined total of approximately 361,941 scheduled seats, making it the top market in September. Australian carriers provide slightly more of the total capacity compared to their Kiwi counterparts, with 172,319 seats, while New Zealand Airlines contribute an estimated 143,204 seats. The remaining 13% comes from other carriers, including prominent names like China Airlines and Latam. Singapore's Changi Airport is a key connecting hub, and the Australia-Singapore route comes in at second place. With a capacity of 283,858 seats, it's an essential link in the region. However, the split between Australian, Singaporean, and other airlines is quite different from what we saw in the Australia-New Zealand market. Local carriers account for about 21.4% of the total capacity, while Singapore Airlines and Scoot, both Singaporean carriers, provide the majority at 71.9%. The remaining 6.7% are contributed by other international airlines like British Airways and Emirates. Coming in at third place is the Australia-Indonesia market pair, offering about 208,742 scheduled seats a month. Australian airlines lead the charge, with a substantial 62.7% market share. Indonesian carriers hold 29.5% of the share, offering a glimpse into the strong partnership between the two countries. Additionally, other airlines bring the remaining 7.8% to the market, supporting various routes to Indonesian cities such as Jakarta and Bali. Things get more challenging with the Australia United Arab Emirates market, taking the fourth spot. The competition here is fierce, mainly from UAE-based carriers like Emirates and Etihad Airways. Last but not least, the Australia United States market, offering approximately 113,491 scheduled seats in September. This market has a balanced split between Australian and US carriers. Interestingly, this market exhibits a balanced split, with Australian airlines providing about 49.8% of the capacity, while U.S. carriers hold the remaining 50.2%. Despite these markets, the Australian aviation scene faces some unique challenges, from a lack of competition to high airfare prices. A new ultra-long-haul fleet might not be the miracle solution, but what's the future of Australian aviation? Tell us in the comments. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Australia's international air travel markets, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting content. Thanks for joining us at Airlines Quest, and we'll see you in the next video.